Hi friends, in previous tutorial we have seen how two interlinked combo boxes have worked. Now we will interlink three combo boxes. So here you can see I can select a class 6. Now if it is all, then all the records will be displayed. By default it is all. So you can see all the records. But you see we have a pass and fail system where it is more than 60 it is passed. So here the name and the mark is displayed. So if I want to display only the past students then I can just select here pass so the the student with 54 mark is gone now let me just select the fail only so in the class 6 now only one student was 54 mark so this is a way we have interlinked three combo boxes to get our final output we'll learn how to do this We'll start from the interlinking of two combo boxes that uh, already the source code is available. The link is also there. You can just uh, see the tutorial and you can download the source code also. And this entire th source code also it's available for you to download. Now from this one, uh, two are there in this. So we'll do little adjustment because we want now third one to be gone. So this uh, declaration will take it sorry it is uh, the sorry the trace method will take it down will place it here and in between uh, first combo box and second combo box will insert our third one so for that let's just let change a little bit our uh, pad x will decrease to 5 because one more we have to accommodate here and pad y let it be now here in the before cb or the combo box 2 will add our uh, in between one more so for that we'll place our list 1 or the options whatever we, we want to display in our second list box what we are going to add for that it is one is all means all the pa pass or fail both then only pass and then fail so these are the three options will be there available for in our second combo box what we are going to add now and the name also let's give uh, sorry before that let's create one uh, string variable uh, we will be using for uh, for this second combo box. So, I am saying uh, string for and here initially let me give the value as all. So, one of the value will also by default it is it is on all. If you want by default it to be pass you can change this or fail you can change that also. So, let us give the name as cb1 underscore a. So, this is the new uh, combo box so this combo box will say ttk then parent window is my underscore w and then value value will take it from my list one just above so three uh, three choice we have all pass and fail so my list one we can give now here we'll say text variable text variable equal to cell one because cell is here you can see we have connected this string variable to the our combo box one so that combo box and in you can see once the because it's a string variable and whenever this trace method at line number 32 this means any change in this option this triggers the uh, this function my update and inside that it populates the one this all we have discussed in now in our two interlinked uh, combo boxes now this uh, we, are, we are here my list cb1 now we should place it on our uh, grid so let's give a smaller width to it rather because only three to all pass and fail so we'll say width i am just giving width equal to five i have written five there may not be visible okay only one thing so i am not taking to the next line so cb1 underscore a dot grid now this grid is grid what we are going to do is row equal to 1 the same row where it is and in between so I am giving column equal to 2 and pad x slightly 5 I am giving so not flushing with the left edge I am giving a little gap here you can see this this is the cb1 or if it is totally not visible let me just take up from here this is the cb1a text variable and the width of 5 now cb1a grid i have i have placed it column 2 but here this cb1a now cb2 the second the third combo box now it is third earlier it was 2 now this column i will change it to 3 because it is moved right of the second combo box so i am giving it column as 
three now. So here you can see that uh, width also. So at least the now the uh, we can say the look and feel. Or let's see how this looks. I have saved it, running it. Let's see how the three. Yeah, you can see here three boxes. Now they are not linked. These two are linked because of our old system. So here you can see all these students of class seven, everything. Now five, I can. This will change again. Fine. This is already we have seen in our two interlinked drop down. Now this one, though it is there, but it has no bearing on anything because we have to yet to write the code for that. Now we'll change inside this function. This is important because this is where the things will happen. You can see here this query we are keeping it is, but this query will change, and from here the day, whatever the execution part this remains same. This query will change it a bit now and say that instead of getting a name because we want to now uh, differentiate but with the mark. So let's read the mark also and display it as a one item. So for that we'll say name and instead of only name we'll take it a mark also. So what you will say we'll say concat. Concat is a string addition in query in SQL or any any it's a string addition it joins strings so concat or concatenation this name name column then give a slight gap uh, in a dash in there so put a dash now sorry where I lost yeah here then I am giving mark so though I will receive data from the two co columns name column and the mark column and I am joining it as I am getting it now as a single column now so name dash mark everywhere I will get it this even this part also we can check it independently let's just save this and run once I am running it once see the output here you can see now once I select this say class 5 I am selecting you can see whatever is there the mark is also dash mark is also there so this is the name and mark so we can f f check our words based on the whatever so we select from here based on that the outputs we can check now we'll create the conditions now so what you will say we'll say if now this if cell one cell one is the string variable of the second combo box where all pass and fail are uh, defined so this uh, dot get means what the user has selected from that equal to this string matching so I'll say if it is all means there is no pass or fail then I'll just change the query part so I am keeping the same query slightly coming here bringing this to next line okay so here so because this is there string addition now this is considered as uh, this query is there now here where class plus cell fine so there is no restriction on the mark column but let the mark be displayed now after this this is the if condition query now I will come out and here I will say elif elif means this if it is not l uh, sorry if it is not all now we'll say cell one dot get this value equal to now fine it is pass now in this case what will be the our uh, query so what I will do I will just copy this paste it here so but here one more condition I have to add and this is fine so carefully I have to write within this string ending because same thing and mark this is the mark value is greater than or equal to because 60 is also a pass bar so we are giving a equal to and if you want your pass bar to be something else change it here so we have kept it 60 because our marks distribution are somewhere below 60 somewhere above 60 it is that way and 60 we have included in the pass side so that's also now this is uh, we have given mark equal to 60 so this is the pass condition the third choice is anyway it is fail only so we can not write once more or you can write one more elif I am just going with else condition so else if it is not so query equal to sorry I will just I will write I will paste it entire thing here whatever is there from here I will say and mark is me less than 60 so if it is 59 also it is fail okay your logic if it is something else you can just
changed at this point that's all friends this is where my query is and the same query is applied here but one thing i missed we'll just see that this function is triggered this all these things are fine once i selected but when i am selecting the second drop box second box this function is not triggered okay let's see this that then you will realize what's the importance of that will i am running this now okay i i want to class say um, 6 fine so all are by default it is so everything is there here is 154 is there now if i'll change it to pass only but still it is not filtering the reason is because i am not triggered this value so that will add by what we are going to do you come down here this one this stress method whenever the variable of the combo box is option is changed this method is triggered so for that for the second drop box it is cell one if you remember it is the line number 37 we have declared it here it is and we have connected it here at here text variable is equal to cell one for the second combo box so once you are changing the option of a second combo box this particular trace method triggers the my update now let's just see this how it works i'm just going there fine now i will again let's see class six fine all all I should be there yeah include this all record also now i am saying show me only the pass now again at this stage the function is triggered now this value is red so it is the value of pass only now it, if you see 54 is not there similarly let us just get the fail status only so i will get only this record that's all friends so there was a question actually asked that how to integrate the three uh, drop down list boxes so it is there i'll just request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that please share this video with your friends and request them to subscribe also and you can entire source code you can download it link is at their bottom for the both two interlinked and three interlinked both are there separately try with the second one and two interlinked uh, combo box then move to the third one and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching